The Walt Disney Company just celebrated their 100th anniversary, and I can't think of a better way to celebrate than with some brand new Disney Cars diecast. So welcome on back to the Cars Garage, everyone. We've got some very cool cars to show you today. Obviously, all six of the Disney 100 Cars diecast, which I didn't already have, of course. These are all six that are in the main line, but there is technically seven in the series. As you know, I already reviewed the Cruise and Lightning McQueen single back in June. So that was very cool. I got him very early on. Actually, I think the first person possibly in the entire world, or at least North America, to find him. First person to review him anyway, so that was really cool. Very special day. But I got him in Niagara Falls. My family got him for me. Uh, but these guys, much easier to find, of course, except for this Doc single, for me at least. He is from Case F, as all of the Disney 100 cars are. 2023 Case F, of course. But, I don't know, I just can't seem to find it. We're only just starting, oh, I haven't found it, but some people are reporting finding Case D here in Canada now from 2023, so very slow and late to the game. But that's okay. Just in time for the anniversary, of course, just a few days after. Because I think, what is it today, the 22nd, I think? So yeah, a week after or so. Anyways, though, I got this five pack here too. I just decided to get the five pack because it's got all five of the cars that are also available as singles. So I figured it'd be cheaper to just get this five pack on Amazon, which is much easier to find for me than the singles are. So that's cool. But yeah, we're going to be opening them all today. All the packaging on the singles are the same anyway, so it's nothing too special. They didn't really change it for each one. They didn't do artworks or anything like that. But I imagine that this fabulous Hudson Hornet here will become the rarest. I wouldn't doubt it because he's not in the five pack, obviously. Very cool Disney 100 logo. I love it. Cars logo up there. Now, they are in the main line, of course, but they still gave them a brand new packaging, of course. They don't just have, like, the Red Riders packaging, which is good. I'm glad about that. You got all these artworks of different Pixar characters up there. You got Sully from Monsters, Inc., Woody from Toy Story. Uh, Dory from Finding Nemo, McQueen from Cars, of course, Miguel from Coco, and Mrs. Incredible from The Incredibles. So, pretty nice representation there of all these Pixar characters. I don't know why they're only Pixar characters. I feel like since it's a Disney anniversary, they should have included some just Disney characters too. It's not the Pixar Fest after all, but I don't know. Maybe they just wanted to do that because they didn't do Pixar Fest cars this year. I don't know. Maybe. Metal logo down there. Mattel logo down there. Very nice, simplistic, modern text. Doc looks so cool in there, though. I think he's going to end up being the best in this series, but who knows. Here's a look at the cars in the back. All their stock images. McQueen, Sally, Mater, Doc, Ramon, and Flo. Nice assortment of cars, I would say. Mattel empowering the next generation through play down there. I mean, they could have added some more obscure characters, of course, into this line, like maybe Finn McMissile or Francesco or even Cruz Ramirez, but I'm just glad kind of they stuck to the main classic characters. I mean, I would have preferred someone else over a second McQueen here, but he is pretty cool, and I'm glad that I was able to get him early on. Before I show the five back, I wanted to show this McQueen single, of course, too, because this one, like I said, it's not in the main line, so it does feature a different packaging. For whatever reason, I'm not really sure why. I guess just to differentiate a little. It says Disney 100 Celebration up there. Same background, pretty much. Just kind of like moved over. Like the silver diamond design. Same Disney 100 logo and Cars logo in the same spot, pretty much. All the Disney 100 logos moved to the center. Same text, but obviously all the Pixar characters are gone. So I prefer this one. Less cluttered. I think it matches the series better. Nothing on the back, though, obviously, because... Even though he is technically in the series, he's still on the 2023 poster. He really is kind of just like in his own sideline series. Kind of like the Golden McQueen that they did for the 15th anniversary of Cars in 2021. But let's move all this stuff over. I want to show you guys this five pack here. Very, very cool. I actually picked up two. So you can see I got another one up there. I've had it for like two months now. Just waiting to unbox it. But unfortunately, I did some work in my room. And I didn't want you guys to see it in its construction state, so that's why I have been waiting to unbox it. No rush, though. Got to do it just a week after the anniversary, so that's kind of cool. There's the Disney 100 logo. Same very simplistic design. It is called the Disney 100 Celebration 5-Pack in many different languages. And there's all the cars inside. Ramon, kind of hidden by the shadow. <laughs> Mater's got some big plastic thing around him, so that's kind of 
ugly in my opinion, but not as bad as some of the five packs they've been doing lately. Like the one with uh, Salidos Amigos Ramon, that one is packaged horribly. But we got McQueen in there, Sally, and Flo, who's hidden behind the car's logo there. Well, that's okay. She is a long car, so it's kind of hard to see her, but that's all right. I think they did a nice job packing all the cars in, though. Reminiscent of all the other five packs they've been doing, where all the cars are, like, looking straight at you, you know what I mean? Before, they used to, like, all turn them in the same direction, but now it's like they're all pointed towards the center, like the one in the middle is straight. All the other ones are curved a little bit. So that's cool. Metal logo. Cars and Disney 100 logo. There. Just a lot of the same, really. Very simplistic packaging. But I like it. I like it a lot. That's kind of the whole point of the series. It's meant to be very simplistic looking. Huge stock images back here. It's a really nice glossy finish to the box, too. So it even looks better than the rougher cardboard finish on the single pack. Very cool. Huge logos. Look at that. <laughs> Mattel and Power in the Next Generation through play. They're just screaming it at you. But yeah, this is pretty cool, but I'm sure they'll look much better out of the box. So, without any further ado, let's get these guys all opened up. Alrighty, well I finally got all the Disney 100 cars out of their box, and it definitely took a little bit. I couldn't really show you guys much of the unboxing, unfortunately, because they just decided to load it with tape. And then that just takes forever to get all the tape off and then undo all the knots. So yeah, that was not the easiest unboxing to do, but at least Doc came out smoothly. He was nice in his little single packaging. That was nice and smooth. Oh well, we got them all out now and they're looking good. Very good, actually. Much better than I would have thought they looked, like, originally when I first saw them leaked online. Because I was a little indifferent about this series. I just, I didn't know. I, you know, I like decals. I kind of would prefer if all the cars had, like, the Disney 100 logo, like, stamped onto them. You know what I mean? Um, but, I don't know. They're going for a very seamless, kind of, like, majestic, almost, look. So, I guess that's why they just went down this route. And, you know, just kind of stripped the cars of all their decals and painted everything silver. It does look cool. That is kind of the theme of the Disney 100 anniversary. It's like a silver and purple color scheme. They have it all throughout the Disney parks and everything. So really, it does make sense that this is how the cars ended up looking. And you know what? I think they look pretty darn cool. So let's get into it today. I think first off, let's start with, of course, and we got to start with Lightning McQueen, I guess. So we'll put all of our cars back here. Cruise McQueen can get out of there. We've seen him for quite a while now, even though he is technically newer than these guys. <laughs> This took me forever to get them. Alright, so here is our Lightning McQueen. This is just the normal Cars 1 version of him, of course. They didn't do like a Cars 3 version or anything like that, which I'm happy about. Because that's what they did for the the Golden 15th Anniversary McQueen that they did in 2021. They made it the Cars 3 Slimmer model and put Cars 3 decals on them. I didn't like that. Even with the Racing Red one, they did the Cars 3 mold but Cars 1 decals. So this one I'm glad it just has... The classic, flatter, Cars 1 mold for McQueen, or casting, whatever you want to call it. And, I don't know, I guess this is just like a basic lightning bolt decal, so I guess you can say it's from Cars 1. But really, it could be from any of the movies, I guess, except Cars 2, because obviously he had the flames in. There was no flames on here. It looks good, though. Just a classic lightning bolt. 95 number right there with the black outline. Very cool. And the number is silverized. It just kind of... Odd. I would have thought it would have been like a different color, like black or red, but it just went in silver. It looks good, though. No headlights, of course. They're all gone. Big old happy face smile right there. It does look nice. He has a big plastic eye blade, too, which McQueen always usually has from Thailand. Looks good, though. I think that they did change the expression ever so slightly. Yeah, it's a little bit different, for sure. This is a classic Cars 1 Thailand McQueen right here. Yeah, you can definitely tell the eyes are a bit higher, same with the eyelids. They're more like, almost like more symmetrical, you know, it's like an even hump on each side. Whereas on this one, it's more like raised on the left eyebrow there, left eyelid. So, I don't know, the mouth, like the casting seems to be the same, which is cool. Fine, I mean, I would prefer they would change it, but it looks good. I think just the eyes being slightly different actually makes the whole expression look different too. 
So that's cool. Very nice. Obviously, same, well, I think same tires, right? Yep, looks like the same tires, just spray painted all silver. No more light year text. None of that. Everything is really the same. It's just all spray painted silver. So you really could do this. If you had an extra uh, Lightning McQueen lying around at home, you could probably just try to make this yourself. You could probably succeed. That actually was my original plan. When I first saw these leaked back in early spring, I thought, oh, I'm going to have to do that before they come out and make them all like custom painted versions of them. But I didn't end up doing that because obviously I found out that they were going to be available on Amazon in the five pack. So I figured might as well just wait and get them and not waste my time painting them. Also, I didn't have silver spray paint. He does have the two holes on the base, which is cool for Mater to be able to tow him. I don't think this Mater will work because he has the small tow hook. No, definitely not. Oh, well, I'm kind of glad they didn't include the bigger tow hook because it does look unrealistic. But this one, obviously, from the Mater with a larger tow hook from 2022 does work on him, so that's cool. One in the front and in the back. And you just have the Copyright 2021 date stamp there. What is his date stamp? Where is it? S10A. So the 10th week of 2023, I guess, is when he was made. That's pretty cool. At the A factory, like always. Very cool McQueen, though. I like this one. Is it one of my favorite McQueen variants ever? Definitely not. Not even close. But it is kind of cool. Like a nice celebratory McQueen. I don't know if it'll end up being... The best of the series? I don't think so. Honestly, I think Mater will end up being the best, probably. But, we'll just have to see. Let's move right along now to Mater himself. Why not? Let's do good old Mater. Toe Mater. And let's put Doc over here with all the rest of his friends. And that looks better. Alright, so this Mater, obviously, as you can tell, has the brand new Mater mold. Which they always seem to do. Whenever they do some kind of special edition of Mater, they did the same thing with the well, I mean, the metallic brand new Mater kind of had to be, I guess, because it is brand new Mater after all. <laughs> um, but they could have just done a, you know, regular Mater metallic in blue. That would have been cool. Same thing with the racing red Mater. They made him the brand new mold with the, you know, the hood on. That's really the only difference. And he has a different expression too, different mouth. So it is a new casting. But, I don't know. They always seem to do it. And it seems to annoy a lot of people. I don't really care that much. I mean, I like the brand new Mater mold. The thing is, though, like, it's not really Mater now, you know what I mean? Like this is supposed to be Mater years ago, like back in the, I don't know, the 50s, I think, right? Back when Radiator Springs was in its heyday. So it doesn't really make sense for Mater to have his hood right now in 2023 for this 100th anniversary of Disney, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent about it, but it does look cool on the die cast. I mean, he obviously looks better with his hood. I think we can all agree to that, as opposed to <laughs> here without it, looking all rusty and old. Um, but I don't know. I, I guess I don't really care. It looks good. What else would they have made, like, the special colorized metallic part anyways, if he didn't have his hood? I guess they could have done his door, maybe? <laughs> that wouldn't look this cool. Could have done his tow cable, I guess. Maybe his engine? I don't know. Anyways, though, that is his special piece right there of color. It is the metallic turquoise hood, and it looks good, I must say. I don't have a Thailand brand new Mater. To compare him with, but I do have the regular one to compare in a second. He does have the plastic eye plate and a slightly different mouth when compared to the regular Thailand Mater. Same thing, it's the same mouth as the brand new Mater, as you can see. This is the Chinese one instead of the Thailand one, but they're pretty much the same. He has both of his headlights, obviously, but you can't even really tell because they're spray painted silver. <laughs> his bumper almost seems kind of like thinner down there to me. Definitely is a little bit. Probably the same as on the brand new one, I'd assume. Yeah, same mold. So nothing different there. Nice silver mirrors. This mirror over here actually has like a nice little, I don't know what that is, like a little extra circular mirror attached to it, but brand new Mater's always had that for some reason. I don't know exactly what it is. Maybe it's a light, actually. Kind of looks like a light now that I see, like look at it from the back. He has all four of his <laughs> little roof lights up there. The one's not all busted out like usual. Tires spray painted silver, all six of them. There's the base. Take a look at it in a second. This little opening here seems to be bigger than it was before to me. Yeah, it's definitely bigger than the normal Thailand Mater. Look at that. But it's the same as the brand new Mater. Actually, no, I think it is a little bit. 
Definitely a little bit. Yeah, definitely a little bit bigger, I think, at least. Looks bigger to me. The whole back section is completely made of metal, which is nice. As all Thailand maters always are. Thailand just does such a great job with mater. Usually, at least. <laughs> Vietnam and China always like to, you know, <laughs> try to cut corners and make the back section plastic. Add a sticker for the caution tape in the back. You know, just cheap out where they could, but Thailand always seems to do good. This whole contraption back here, this whole tow cable, is like a hard rubber kind of material. He obviously just has the small tow hook, so it's not really functional, but that's alright. And a cool texture back here, too, right there on the floor of his truck bed. Looks very cool, though. Just weird to see everything, like, all the same color, especially on Mayor, because he's always rusty. <laughs> Different to see, but looks cool. Take a look at the base now. S10A is the date stamp made in Thailand, so they all seem to have, probably going to all have the same date stamp, I wouldn't doubt. But that's okay. Probably all made the same, because they're all in the same five pack after all. Here is Mater, or the Disney 100 Mater with the brand new Mater counterpart. Obviously, just missing all the decals, but the mold and everything is the same. I think at least, I think it might be a little different actually because of this part. Definitely looks bigger to me on this one, but maybe it's just because it's silver. It looks like the opening in the middle is like bigger. I don't know why. It looks like it goes in more or something. You know what I mean? Like a bigger square, but maybe not. The expression seems to be the same. Actually looks better on this one, in my opinion. But, yeah, I don't know. Mater's pretty cool. It might end up being my favorite one, but can't judge just yet. Who are we going to do next? I guess we'll do Sally, because she's in the five back. We'll save Doc for last, because I think he might end up being the best one. But I'm not sure. Anyways, Sally, I'm glad that they added her to this series, because I feel like she usually gets shunned a little bit in the franchise. Usually she doesn't really get these cool variants like this for celebrations and stuff. I guess I can't really say that because she did get a Pixar Fest one in either 2021 or 2020, whenever that was. And then she also got a Racing Red version, so I guess I can't really say that anymore. But I feel like for a long time, Sally just went without having very many variants. Not really Mattel's fault, they just didn't really give her a lot of variants in the movie, but I don't know. I'm glad that she is getting them now. Looks cool. I don't have very many of them either. I don't have the Pixar Fest one. Or the racing red one, but I hope to get them eventually. This one looks cool, though. She also got a metallic version, too, so I guess she does have a lot of variants. <laughs> All pretty recently, too. Now, Sally's cool little colorized part is the hood right here, as you can tell. I don't really know why they chose to do her hood. I guess it's because she didn't have any decals to begin with. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this one. I mean, her hood looks great. I love that color. I wish her whole <laughs> body was that color, to be honest. Nice metallic blue. It's probably the same color of blue, metallic blue, that the metallic one has. I'm not exactly sure, though. I don't know. It just looks weird, because, like, Mater's hood is noticeable, you know what I mean? Like, it stands out, because he doesn't normally have it, but Sally's, like, so integrated into her body, it just seems weird for it to be a different color. But, whatever. They did use the incorrect, inaccurate uh, pancake mold for Sally, which I'm not a big fan of. Looks very flat. Luckily, the metallic one that they did a few years ago, in 2019, I think that was, did have the correct slimmer mold for Sally, but this one does not. The Racing Red one did not, and the uh, Pixar Fest one did not either, so it really doesn't surprise me. I don't know why they went back to this one, though. It doesn't really make sense to me. <laughs> ah, whatever. Anyways. Yeah, I don't know. Sally's not my favorite. It just looks weird being everything silver on it. Like, her taillights are gone. They never did a great job with Sally's headlights and taillights, so they never really detailed them very good. Except on the slimmer ones, they did those ones good, but on the pancake mold, this one, as I like to call it, pancake mold, I don't know, they just never done a great job with it, in my opinion. They did actually put the Porsche logo, or Porsche show logo, whatever you say it, on her hood there, so that's cool. That's really the only <laughs> colorized part on her. That's actually even kind of odd that they even did that. I guess because it's on the hood, which already has a color. That's why they did it. And, I mean, they're going to pay for the licensing for Porsche. They might as well put it on there, I guess. Probably their thought process, I guess. Look at it. It really goes in there, or the side of her smile there. Nice step, though, to her mouth, I must say. See her teeth on the top. I don't know. I mean, she doesn't look bad. Her wheels look pretty good. All silverized and everything. I think she looks a bit plasticky, maybe. Like her windows. This one, because like, it doesn't really go in at all. It just comes across as plasticky. Like, see the lines going through it? 
I don't know, the portion of the text on the back is gone, or the Carrera text, whatever it said. The license plate is painted over. Not my favorite one, to be honest, but not horrible. What is the date stamp? Well, the date stamp's like the wrong way. Look at that. S10A as well, so I think they're all going to be S10A. Hmm, interesting. Well, her base looks cool. It looks like it has more, like, intricate little lines and circles and stuff in it for some reason now. I don't know why. But where is the classic version of Sally? Here she is. I don't have a Thailand Sally opened up. I must say, though, I think they did change her expression. Because the Thailand one, I saw it in the package that I have. And, like, the eyelashes did not look to really be defined at all. They looked very, just, like, not good. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> These ones don't look that great either. This is the 2017 Chinese version of Sally. But they look better than the old Thailand ones that I have. Well, not old, it's a new one, a new Sally. Um, but this one looks good, I must say. Her expression looks nice. Seems like they changed the eyes for a lot of these cars, but not the mouse, which is understandable, I guess, because that is a separate piece. Hmm, interesting. It's hard to compare these cars to anything, because, I mean, they all, like, they just, <laughs> they're the exact same. They just, like, are spray painted over in silver. It's really weird. It's a really weird concept for a series, but. I think it kind of works, to a certain degree. I mean, it's not bad. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this series. I don't hate it, but I don't really love it either, I guess. I think they look better, maybe, in the package, to be honest. But I don't know. Who can we do next? I guess we'll do Ramon next, because I really do want to end off on Doc, because I think he'll end up looking the best. Ramon, I don't know. We've had so many Ramon variants. I'm kind of tired of them, to be honest. <laughs> and we'll probably be getting another one soon. With cars on the road, but that, that one actually looks cool, so I hope we get that one soon. This one, though, might end up being one of the worst Ramon variants I've ever seen. Just because it's, like, when I, when I get a new Ramon variant, I want it to be all full of color and stuff, you know what I mean? Like a, a new color we haven't seen him in before. And this is just all one color, <laughs> and it's a color we have seen him in before, so I don't know. Let's zoom him in and see how he looks. Yeah, I don't know. He does have uh, an expression that we've seen before, so they didn't change Ramon's expression, but I guess it's not the same as the classic purple Thailand Ramon, so that's cool. I think this one is from the Artist Ramon, maybe the Union Jack Ramon. I think it was one of them from Cars 2 that this one has. Pretty sure it's Artist Ramon, or as I like to call him nowadays, Ramon Green. <laughs> I just completely forgot about how the English language works. <laughs> but his little special piece is his flames on the side. And they are purple now, which is his, you know, classic color. It's not really the exact same shade of purple. It's, I guess it's kind of like, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like the same color as the, the flames that he has here, but like the ones in the background, which are purple. And they get hidden by the yellow and orange flames. Interesting. Actually, no. These ones don't, like, extend that far. So I guess it is supposed to be the yellow and orange ones. Because he has a couple different colors of flames on this one right here. Interesting. I didn't actually realize that before. Looks nice though, it only goes like here, so yeah. It must be supposed to be like the yellow and orange flames, but now they're purple. Yeah, I don't know. Not a lot to talk about with Ramon, he's just all silver. Looks kind of cool, I guess. I would prefer maybe if they put some of the flames like he has on his hood. That would look kind of cool, I think, but kind of break the theme of the series to only have like one special decal in color. So I guess I could have done that one or those, and probably best to do the ones on the side, I guess. Nice little smile there. Interesting. Uh, look at that, they even covered up his license plate. See, that's where it's like, I don't know, should they have done that? Should they cover up the license plate and the headlights and the taillights, cause, and the windows, and the wheels? <laughs> like, those things, I feel like, shouldn't be painted over, cause it just doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you, you can't paint over your windows, you never be able to get that paint off. <laughs> And, like, they need their windows to be able to see out of, or do they? I guess they really don't. I guess they don't really, <laughs> their eyes are in front of the windows, so that don't really make sense either. I don't know. S10A is the date stamp again, made in Thailand. Looking good, though. It's kind of cool. It just reminds me of, like, uh, if someone, like, just took their cars and spray painted them silver. <laughs> I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. But they really do remind me of customs, like, something that you... Like, I asked uh, one of the customizers to do it. Like, there's a lot of cool customizers out there. And a lot of them just do these really simplistic-looking cars. Like, just, you know, you can ask them to 
paint me something completely silver or completely black, you know what I mean? That's what this reminds me of. <laughs> Mr. Docket gets a lot of those, and they are cool, but they're expensive, I think, for what they are, you know, but some of them are really cool, like alternate characters or video game characters, stuff like that. That's what I would want if I got a custom. Not something like this, but I guess it's kind of cool that Mattel tackled something different. But anyways, here is Flo looking very nice. Actually, you know what? I do want to show you guys Ramon next to the regular one a little bit more. Not so zoomed in, just because, I don't know. I feel like Ramon, they didn't really do him justice with this Disney 100 one. I mean, he's a cool car. He's a 1959 Chevrolet Impala. I don't know. He just benefits from having some cool flames on, you know, his entire body and stuff, not just on the sides. I don't know. Not my favorite, but I just want to compare him a little more. On to Flo now. Let's see what she has to offer. She might actually end up being one of my favorite ones. I'm not sure, because at first I thought she might end up being one of the worst ones. But the fact that Flo doesn't have very many variants to begin with, just, I don't know, kind of makes me, like, optimistic that this one might end up being cool. And she does look very nice. It looks like they did change her expression, so that's cool. That's something that they don't normally do, I feel like, on Flo. Actually, I guess they did when they switched over from China to Thailand, and they improved the expression, but this one just looks better, in my opinion, because it has, like, bigger eyeballs or something. There's something different about it. Yeah, look at that. This is a classic Thailand version of Flo. Definitely tell the eyelids, or the eyeballs, are way bigger. They definitely look more lifelike. I like it. Completely spray-painted over her mouth <laughs> and her little headlights there. But... I don't know, she still has a plastic on top, like on her whole headpiece here. All, all the cars usually have like plastic eye plates, but Flo, her entire head, including her eyes, is plastic and her windows and everything. I don't know why they've always done that, even on the old Chinese flows. Oh well, though. I mean, I don't know why they do that, though. It just doesn't make much sense to me. Maybe because it's so curved, they wouldn't be able to get a eye plate in there? I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. There must be a reason, though, other than them just being cheap. <laughs> Now, Flo's cool little colorized piece is on the side here. This cool little old-fashioned decal that she has. Not really a decal, it's like an embossment, I guess. Like it's a panel, I guess you'd call it. I don't know what you'd call this. They were new with like a good word for it. They did change the color. They gave it like a metallic teal. Very similar to Mater's color. But it's supposed to be like Flo's classic color that she would normally have on her entire body. But usually it's like a, a light lemony color of yellow almost. But very washed out. The Thailand one is never very good in my opinion, but maybe it is accurate. Maybe it is supposed to be washed out. I'm not really 100% sure. And, I don't know, they give her bumper like all plasticky, oh, like a little plasticky look to it. And it just looks very cheap to me. Her license plate is painted over. I don't know. <laughs> I really want to be optimistic with these cars. I'm not a huge fan of this series, though, I guess. Like, I was really... Excited for her going into it because they look really cool in the package and everything. They have like a very iconic kind of look to it. To them all, like they look like eye catching, like I was saying. But I just don't know. Like out of the package, they just look kind of weird. Like all spray painted silver and everything. I don't know. It's not my kind of series, but it's not bad. S10A is the date stamp once again. <laughs> so all five of them from the five pack are all the exact same date stamp. I wonder what docs will be. We're understood with this weird bulge here on the bottom of Flo is. I always used to look at that and wonder, <laughs> what the heck is that supposed to be? <laughs> He's always had it though. One thing that I never liked about Thailand Flo's is this bumper here. How it's like, like it's chrome, which looks good, but then this isn't chrome, so it just doesn't really match, but it's supposed to be the same color. Or also like, I don't know, just I always hated that she had a plastic bumper. It just never looks good, especially on the Thailand ones. China ones too though. I, Chinese flow is somewhere around. This one has a brown base. I think the Chinese one always had a teal base. I don't really get it. Sometimes they just go crazy with the base colors. But, I don't know. Flow looks good, I must say. She might end up being my second favorite one. Because I feel like Ramon, McQueen, like we're used to variants for them. You know, been there, done that kind of situation. Uh, but all the other ones, I don't know. I needed some more variants of them. Just a classic RS Townies. So I'm kind of glad they're in the series. I'm glad that, I know, I prefer these guys over, I guess, like another Jackson Storm repaint or something like that. You know what I mean? But I preferred, like, Finn McMissile to be in the series or something like that, definitely. <laughs> but it's kind of supposed to be, like, just the Cars franchise as a whole. So if you do one from Cars 2, you got to do one from Cars 3. 
but they're most likely gonna, most likely going to do two from Cars Three because you know Cruz and Jackson Storm. So they just want to keep it simple. Do the RS Townies and McQueen, of course, who is an RS Townie, I guess, which makes sense. I I really do like Flo, though. I must say, so he might end up being my second favorite one. Let's move on though to our last one here, which is obviously the fabulous Hudson Hornet, who <laughs> I didn't tell you guys in the intro, but I actually ended up paying. $37 for this guy in the package. It's a single, which is absolutely insane and actually more money than it costs for the five pack. And I got two five packs, so that's really saying something. The five pack was like 30. I think I got it for 31, but I think they raised the price to like 34 now because, well, <laughs> they're Amazon. They always re raise the prices. They did the same thing with the IV3 pack. Um, but yeah, Doc, I just couldn't find anywhere. They didn't put them on Amazon. They normally don't put singles on, so it didn't surprise me. Didn't find them in the store yet, so. I wanted to get this video out, you know, around the anniversary day in October sometime. So, that's why I bought them. I actually bought them a few months ago. I really wanted to get this video out in while it was still summertime, but didn't happen. That's okay. Let's zoom them in and take a closer look. I think that Thailand's always done a good job with Doc. Um, but there's not a whole lot of Doc variants. You know, it's really just a classic one, which is navy blue. And then there's the fabulous one, which is the best one, I think, arguably. They really haven't done, like, the Cars 1 Fabulous uh, Hudson Hornet in quite a long time, I feel like. That was the Cars 3 one. And no, there's not really that many differences. It's really the same paint job and everything. But the expression, I think, is usually a little different. And then, you know, obviously, Cars 3 one has the dirt track, like, finish to him. He's got, like, the dirt decals or detailing on him, I guess. So, there's that. But they just really haven't done a Cars 1 version of Doc. In a long time, and I would guess like this one's supposed to be, even though you can't really tell. <laughs> it really could be supposed to be from Doc from Cars 1 when he puts on his fabulous Hudson Hornet paint job. Or it could really be from the Cars 3 flashback. really doesn't matter because, like I said, it's the exact same paint job after all. <laughs> but, I don't know. Just I do wish they'd do the Cars 1 version of them again. I feel like they never will now that they did the Cars 3 one. But, oh well, it's pretty much the exact same. It just doesn't have the dirt decaling on it, <laughs> but whatever. He does have plastic eye blades, and it doesn't look too bad. They never like to change Doc's expression, though. <laughs> I think they changed a little, like I was saying, for the Cars 3 one, but not really that much. Looks a little younger, a little more lively, but this one, obviously, like I said, I think it's supposed to be the Cars 1 version, so obviously it definitely looks a little more drowsy and old, <laughs> but I love Doc. Honestly, one of my favorite characters of the whole franchise. I also like Paul Newman a lot, too. It's sad that he ended up dying shortly after the first Cars movie in, I think, 2009, right? I think it was then. I forget. That's when Doc died, anyways, it was supposed to be. Um, but it's cool that they carried on his legacy into Cars 2 a little bit, and mostly in Cars 3. That was cool. But obviously, he has his fabulous Hudson Hornet decal on the side with number 51. Cool that they added both, because technically they are, like, different decals, so I'm kind of surprised that they did. Because the whole theme is like one decal, but I guess it's like all the same, really. I'm glad they added number 51. But I wonder how these cars would look if they would have done like all the decals, but just made them one color, like all metallic blue. Like this one right here, like if he would have had the ones on the top, you know, little 51s, and he would have had the Hudson Hornet badge on the hood like he normally does, or the Twin H Power, whatever it is. But I don't know, it doesn't, so I guess I'm just left to wonder what it would have looked like. I do think I would have liked it more, to be honest. Even though the seamless, very, like, simplistic design is cool and everything, it's just not really for me, I guess. <laughs> you know, I like decals, so I don't know. Still, though, very cool. Nice idea for this, for a series, I think, and, you know, it makes sense that they're silver. I like that. But, yeah, I just wish that, I do wish that they had a few more decals. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I know a lot of people really like the simplistic look. I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't hate it, but I'm just not a huge fan of it. I don't know. He even has, like, the little, like, embossments back here, which would normally say Hudson, I think. Yeah, they normally say Hudson, and that would say Hornet. That one's just a decal. This one, I don't know why that one's un embossed there. That's actually not even on this one, is it? This one doesn't come off the paint. It's not embossed. It's just a sticker. So that might be a difference. I don't know if that's on the Thailand one or not. I guess they haven't done Cars 1, Fabulous Hudson Hornet from Thailand yet, so... That's actually a change, I guess, in the casting a little bit. No license plate on Doc. I always found kind of odd, you know, like, same with McQueen. Like, 
when he isn't on the racetrack? Shouldn't he have a license plate? Like, wouldn't that be illegal? <laughs> I don't know. Where is the state stamp, though? Does he have one? Oh, there it is. It's kind of blurry. All, like, smudged together. It says SO4A. So, six weeks earlier than all the guys from the five pack. Guys and girls, of course. Looks cool, though. I like Doc. He looks good. I'd, I think, at least. Is he the best one from the series, though? That is the real question. I mean, I don't know. Is he the best? <laughs> That's a hard one to say. <laughs> I think that I don't like him as much as I thought I would. I just think his appearance from like the front is not my favorite. He looks very just like minimal in the decals and everything. But I guess they all do. I just I really like McQueen's eye expression. I like how they changed that. I think he looks more lively than usual. Maynard looks great too, though. Um, I'm not a big fan of his eyes, though. They don't, they don't look the best, I guess. If I zoom in on them, you can really tell. There's something weird with the eye play that they use for him. Yeah, it's not really coming up on camera that well, but they're they're very, like, almost like you can see lines going through them. I don't know. Something weird about it. Not too bad, though. I guess I won't complain about the eyes. I'm really just judging the paint jobs today. And, honestly, I think that Sally's definitely the worst. Uh, or maybe not, because I really do like Sally's hood. I think that part actually looks really nice on her, so I don't know. I guess we'll put Ramon and Flo back there, the two lovebirds, and Sally next to McQueen. So, if we're going to rate them, I guess I'd have to go... Hmm... I want to go Doc number one, just because he's Doc. He looks he looks nice. He's not as nice as I thought he would look, to be honest, but he still looks good. Is he worth $37 Canadian? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I think so, just to complete the set. Let's bring Cruz and McQueen in here, too. Then I think I'd have to go with Mater number two. I think I'd have to go with Cruz and McQueen number three. Can't forget about him. He looks cool, too. Um, and then probably, I think, just a regular McQueen number four. Flow number... F no, no, no. I think Flow number four, McQueen number five, Sally number... Six and Ramon number seven. I'm sorry, Ramon. We've just seen so many variants of him that I just ah, I don't know. I just feel like I've seen too many Ramon variants, and we've already seen a silver one with Saludos Amigos Ramon. So it's not really all that unique in my opinion, but it could be worse. I guess <laughs> it could be worse. Yeah, Doc's definitely number one though. I like him, and it's Doc, so I like him even more just because of his character. But let me know who's your favorite down in the comments below. This is a long video, so I gotta go. I might actually hit up Walmart right now and go check the pegs and see if they have Case D in yet. Because I've heard from some other Canadian collectors that they have gotten in Case D of 2023 singles. So, yeah, I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this extremely long video. And I'll see you guys next time on the Cars Garage.